two goals. Brandon just said that. We got Sophie and Finn. But look, he can't move his neck when she has the reins so tight. He's got to come down. He's got to lift his with it. Oh, so that's the story so behind it. Balanced in a straight manner, slightly bent over the inside, getting to work through. Because withers when Sophie gets her legs on, because they're not on. Then he should, once he's soft and black, he should elevate his withers. But should she ride him on a short rein until she's ma managed all that? Like I don't want her to be too long. You know, her thumbs get you know up, and she stops letting her reins get longer. Then she can have a longer rein, so let's push her back forward. Keep pushing that inside leg, so that outside rein soft inside over your knee, nice and tall with your bar. You love to listen to everything. Nice and tall, don't get excited. Go step, so that by the time he gets into the corner, he can lift that shoulder and then step around it without falling in, okay? Nose is to the outside, nose needs to be to the inside. Inside leg pushes over. <coughs> inside, Sophie. Inside, inside, inside. Step out. So. Brandon's theory is that when her reins are tighter, she's encouraging him to drop his head once she gets all the other things correct. So that's the goal, I think that's what he's saying. That he's teaching her to do all the things to get him to drop his head with her correctly. And so because the reins are tight enough, he'll be able to do that and work from behind. Watch out, Thumper. Watch out, Thumper. All right, we just got to be patient and trust Brandon. He's working her through some things, some bad habits that she has. There we go. So basically he's teaching her right now how to get Finn to drop his head and to engage his back end, which is his his priority right now. I prepared Sophie. I prepared Sophie for when we got here. I said, you might only get to just go in circles today while you work on stuff. And I like the fact that Brandon wants to take time until she gets what she needs to get. And that's why we do extra lessons in a week. And then inside leg, push it back over. Good, Sophie, better. Start gradually intertwining in different directions. Same thing, okay? No more straight lines, Brandon said. Same thing this way, Sophie. Inside leg, inside ring, push them over. Nose to the inside, soft to the outside. Keep that pressure on. Wow. Lift your body back. Half off your legs. Support, 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 support. Good. Inside. Don't let him throw the shoulder. Good, Sophie. Good what? 
keep the contact. Lift your body, sink into your heels and your calf muscles. Good. Wow, that's but a difference. Is over. Put the pressure on. I can see you're starting to get it. Yeah. The slight less amount of a cheeseburger. You probably got to start quarter pounder now. Okay? Got a quarter pounder between her legs. She started. She has been working on that. Use your legs. To step up. Drop it to that. Sit up. Do a downward transition to a walk. So is the purpose of once she uses his legs, she'll be able to let go? She can let go, right? But why? Same with Gabby. So Gabby goes around for the first about five, ten minutes, holding fists. And yeah. And she can stop and let go. She can, she can let go of his head, and he still carries around and moves on. I know, but I can't. It's hard to watch her do that to him. Like, let's just see. If she lets go of her wing, of her reins, what happens to his head? Nothing. See, look, he has. It just stays the same, right? Yeah. So, so you, contact, you got to hold it a little bit and push his hind end up. So they're fighting right now and you're trying to get them to break a pattern. Yes, which isn't the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. Because Sophie doesn't you know, understand. Well, use your thighs and half all. So I don't... Have bending around that inside leg, Sophie. But I trust Brandon and don't I understand. You don't. Just because you let go doesn't mean you still can't have contact, okay? Your legs are swinging. Your yeah. Legs are swinging as they go fast. Yeah, so this is what she needs to learn. How do we learn this, you guys? How does she learn this? Push his to the inside. Push his shoulders and everything to the outside. This is where your legs come in. This is where everything you do, you have to walk in the truck. She rides him and tries to keep her legs on and support him, but then her legs give out over time and then they just start sliding again. Thank you. So all I can say is this. It's a difficult thing to watch somebody struggling and learning. It's hard for me to watch other people ride other horses, especially like very, very beginners. I understand it's hard for you guys. I trust our trainer. He has a process in mind. Sophie has to do it and do it and do it and do it until she figures it out. And I'm gonna let him guide us because I believe See, in him. I'm proud that you've not been yelling at me this whole lesson. Thank you. Keep it that way. That's because I let Every people time. get inside my head. Ladies, wait, do it nice and tall with your body, softening the reins, closing the legs. Why would you jump ahead, Sophie? Um. Third steady. Close the legs. There we go. Yeah, wow. Sophie, don't jump ahead. One, two, legs. Good. Okay. And one, two, legs. Four, legs, push. Good, Sophie. One, two, legs, push. Good, Sophie. Nice and tall. Outside leg. Keep your shoulders back, Sophie, okay? Use your lower leg just because it's a little vertical. All right, I'm here, Finn. I'm here, Finn. I'm here. Two, legs, push. Yeah! She's scared when he jumps a big jump. Big pat, we're done. Good job, girls. Good job, Brandon. Don't you know that you're beautiful?